Radiant GNC systems. Free radiating engines. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Motion is nominal. And your check from one. There it goes. Rocket Lab's 10th electron has now left the pad and is on its way to space. With over a million horsepower at its back, running out of fingers will quickly reach the toughest point in its HVH battle against battery physics, discharge nominal. the moment known as maximum aerodynamic pressure or max 2. So let's check in on electron's performance. And your check from two. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching max Q. Cleared max Q. Guidance is nominal. We've made it past max Q and Electron continues nominally. Soon the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage will shut down ahead of its separation hey, from stage station. two and its descent back to Earth. It will be our first attempt at a guided atmospheric reentry of the booster. And we're hoping to be able to update you on how that goes after the mission. Once Stage 1 and Stage 2 have separated, the final vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage will come to life and propel Electron the rest of the way to orbit. Let's check back in on the operators in the lead-up to stage separation and Stage 2 ignition. Staging in 15 seconds. Doing burnout check mode. Stage one, Miko. Stage separation succeeded. Stage separation. Recovery telemetry nominal. Main engine cutoff is now confirmed, and Electron's first and second stages have successfully separated. Soon the fairing will separate and jettison from Electron's kick stage, so let's watch. Bearing separation succeeded. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Looks like we've had a successful jettison of the fan. With that out of the way, we're now 50 minutes away from the start of our scheduled payload deployment.
As you can see on your screens, Electron's second stage Rutherford engine continues to burn bright as it propels its payloads into orbit. And on the left, we have visual of stage one during its first controlled re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The data we receive from this guided re-entry will aid in our future recovery plans. We'll continue to broadcast this view as long stage as we can for you. HVB battery discharge is nominal. The next milestone to check off is one that's unique to Rocket Lab and Electron. The Rutherford engines are powered by electric pumps. Electron is in fact the world's only orbital launch vehicle with this feature. These pumps are powered by batteries, and as you can imagine, it takes quite a bit of power to reach orbit. Initially, a pair of batteries serves as the power source, but once these are depleted, we swap power over to another fully charged battery and then jettison the depleted ones. We call this process the battery hot swap. Guidance is nominal, 185 seconds remaining. Electron's velocity is 14,000 kilometers per hour and our altitude is 200 kilometers as we approach battery hot swap. HVB battery discharge nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. EFPSS saved. Hot swap successful. HV battery eject succeeded. Stage As you've just heard, we've had successful battery hot swap. Electron's second stage engine continues to burn six minutes and 45 and seconds into the mission. We're currently 7 minutes 15 seconds into flight, and with the mass of the depleted batteries out of the picture, Electron now has a much more efficient ride to orbit. All systems are nominal as we approach second engine cutoff in around 40 seconds. Our velocity is 21,000 kilometers per hour, and our altitude is 204 kilometers. Shortly, we'll have cutoff of the vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage, followed by separation Cut of the kick terminal. Let's check back in with Mission Control. Entering stage two burnout detect mode. Stage to shutdown. 
vehicle is in transfer orbit. Apogee is 385 decimal 97 kilometers. Perigee is 186 decimal 01 kilometers. Inclination 97 decimal 01 degrees. And we have confirmation of kick stage separation. Electrons running out of fingers mission is now orbital. As I mentioned at the beginning of the webcast, we won't have live footage of payload deployment scheduled approximately 45 minutes from now, but you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook for confirmation that all satellites have been deployed. Before we leave you, a final thank you to our mission partners for choosing to fly with us on our 10th Electron mission and final launch of 2019, and a massive congratulations to the Rocket, te Rocket Lab team on 10 flights. It's been a huge year for us with six orbital missions. We've got planes to look forward to in 2020 with our first launch from LC2 in Virginia, the first launch of Photon, our customizable satellite bus, and of course, our future recovery attempts of Electron. All this means there are still plenty of exciting career opportunities here at Rocket Lab. If you've ever thought about joining our world class, head to rocketlabusa.com. Thank you for the ride in 2019, and we'll see you back here in 2020. I'm Max Muncy. This is Rocket Lab Mission Control, signing off.